everybody, welcome back to a new video, and today, arguably, this is the best deck in the game for me. In my opinion, this is the best deck in the game. And it's finally complete, thanks to that Taco League pack, and some other packs. Now, as you know, uh, I crafted the fourth and final Exploded Fruitcake um, from the pack I just did earlier today. And with the spare 1000 spots, I did spend it on... Uh, all night uh, for a completely other deck aggro because I didn't want to finish it off because it was bugging me. It was 39 out of 40, okay? It really bugged me and I crafted a third crocodile because my goodness, this card is really good. It's one of my games. I'm sure. But anyway, we're focusing on this deck today Pirates. Don't mind the band of misfit, okay? I, I watched that as a kid, okay? I loved it. So, what what is this deck? What, how do you play it? Why is this? It, why is it the best deck, Raptor? Well, first of all, I'll go through it and then I'll tell you why. So, we're winning two bungee plumbers. Uh, sometimes I like to win four, but for this deck, I think uh, need an environment. And is there a real environment other than uh, what, what's its name? Laser base alpha is really good. Is trap territory because those two are like kind of like the really good environments for pirates decks. And also, I've, I've used laser base alpha, I don't, I don't know, I don't really like the cup, but I will keep it because it is pretty good. But I mean, it gives it, it gives us zombie strike through and deadly. What's not to like about that? Don't mind, that's the apple pencil, love it. So, yeah, I've got three trapper territories as an environment, three because you really need three because. You can use this to cover up an environment they, the, zom the zombies have played, the pa uh, plants have played. Or you could just set this up to kill, I don't know, some push rooms, I don't know. It, it just, something to win instead of bunch plumbing is good. So that's the small removal set from the food cake, which is obviously in this deck, we've got four of them. Let's get to the minions. So the minions we have, the term is Grave Robber and the almighty Crypt Draw Cron Man. Uh, the reason we have these is they are both pirates. This is a pirate deck, if you haven't um, figured that out yet. So, these are the one-cost pirates of this game, and they are disgustingly powerful with Swashbuckler. I'll get to Swashbuckler soon. But, th the reason this deck is good is because of the synergy. The, the, the reason why pirates are good is because of the synergy. Their synergy is what makes them good, and that is hitting face and growing. Because that is literally their synergy. And also Strike Crew. That's the main face though. So how am I going to get to face with these little guys? So it's much easier with Con Man because he basically, his ability is to hit face all the time. So Con Man is way more dangerous than Grave Robber, but Grave Robber can get stupidly powerful as well. Um, but Grave Robber is a nice sort of a minion that they have to answer, otherwise it's going to grow on Swashbuckler. Um, Grave Robber at the end of turn 2 can be a 4-3. Like, stats. That is just incredible. Con Man at the end of turn 2 can be a 3-5, which is insane. So, this deck is like an aggro tempo deck. And a little bit of control because we've got quite a lot of good removal. And also line dancing. So yeah, the 1 costs are really dangerous. So, they're going to play a key role in this deck. So, we've gone through that, gone through that. Yeah. Monkey Spuggler. Now, I know we do have Bullseye little guys, but for our other guys that don't have Bullseye, this guy is just really good at stealing block meter, giving us block meter to either block and get superpowers that might protect us and make sure we win, or it gets rid of their block meter, well, it does both, but it gets rid of their block meter so we can hit them and win. So this is really good. Um, if played right, they'll never block. Swashbuckler Zombie is like the heart and soul of this deck. This is going to make all of our pirates grow and just be insane. Like, it's really good tempo and the plants have to sacrifice a lot of their resources to stop this. So uh, it's a very, very strong card. This is the best card to get in the premium set. I'm not, not even... I I'm fully sure about that. We've got to Captain yeah. Flameface. This guy is going to help us get all that tempo because, as you know, for Swashbuckler's ability to work, you need to hit face. 
which is why we have cats in flame face. It's literally in his name, Ooh. face. So it's going to give all of our pirates strike through, yeah. which means they're yeah. all going to hit face and grow. So that's really good. Especially yeah. combined with Monkey Smuggler. We're going to get also a strike through Monkey Smuggler. But we're also going to drain Block Meter. So the Captain yeah. Flame Face and the Muggler, yeah. Monkey Smuggler and Swashbuckler may hit face because of that. And also um, Flame Face with the one cost are just absolutely incredible. Now, uh, they're all the pirates. We're only running five different types of pirates because that's they're the only five pirates you need you, you don't need the other pirates because the other pirates don't do much but you can use them i mean space pirate isn't that great but it can work don't use swabby um instead <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I that instead yeah there are only really five good pirates and uh, they're all yeah. on this deck so what are we running other than pirates well we've got line dancing zombie this is a control card and also good aggro this can really do a lot and it's really good we have pogo bouncer to bounce um big plants or just threats on the field it can help us hit face as well if we don't have a, a flame face so yeah pogo bouncer is really good and then finally we have the legendary of this deck mixed up grave digger so why is mixed up grave digger good well first of all it can um, heal our guys because it resets all their stats. All they get to use all their abilities again, like line dancing and pogo, and it's just incredible. And it's also a, a five cost five five. For what it does, it's actually too it's, it's too much. This deck, this card, is literally I'm not even kidding. Probably the best legendary in the game. So yeah. This deck is just really good. Why is it my favorite and best deck in the game? Because it is good tempo and aggro. It's good at getting rid of plants because we have exploding fruitcake. We just have ways to just stop them from playing plants because of Pogo Bouncer. Mixed, with, mixed up Grave Digger is stupidly powerful because they just can't play anything. If there's one weakness to this deck, it would be Grave Removal. removal. That's it. And you don't see that often, really. Oh, I don't. So let's get into some games with explaining why this deck is honestly the best and why Infinity is honestly the best hero is because of this deck. So yeah, we're gonna get into a game. Th this deck could probably get me to rank 50. I probably won't try to get to rank 50 this season. I don't know how long we have left. But next season, I'm getting to rank 50. I'm gonna get them. A bit hard, but honestly, with this deck, I'm actually. And we're going against reverse. Reverse two. I'll reverse your mom. Uh oh, oh we conceded. It's probably a good thing we conceded. We got a good starting hand as well. I probably would have switched the trapper territory just in case we got like a combo or whatever. But then again, keeping that one. I mean, it wouldn't be that useful anyway, since, you know, he'd be playing pre shooter. What's the point in that? If there's one card I would probably take out, it would be Trapper Territory. Like, as good as it is. Damage. But at the end of the day, it's an environment. And environments can be annoying. So. I'm surprised that the game is making sure it takes a long time for me to load. Because the, the game knows that this deck is the best one. Yeah. I've been working on this deck for a stupidly long time. You have no idea. I remember my first Infinity deck. It was like Swashbuckle and Monkey Pirate. I didn't even have Flame Face. Add mini ninjas and tennis pants. Even that deck works really well. But it's nowhere near as good as this one I have now. So, okay. two swashbucklers. I will. Okay, okay. Yes! Oh, that is a setup if I've ever seen one. That is. Oh my. What the frick is this starting hand? 
Give me a screenshot of that. This starting hand is stupid. Especially against Queen Shadow. She really just struggles with pirates. I find. Yeah, I think Green Shadow is just awful. <laughs> She's a bad hero. Uh, is it that was Green Shadow who just runs peas and no. If so, then we're gonna breeze through this fight. Now, I would normally put Swash in middle, but she's covered that, or he's covered that, so I don't know. Weenie Beanie, he's gonna swats. At least our con man grows. And we have exploding fruitcake to get rid of that big uh, peapod. I forgot what his name is. Which I'm probably gonna save up for, because I don't want that to get too out of control. And we have triple threat. He plays with the minion, so I'm going to pass him. I was thinking if he played first, first line, I won't be able to kill it unless I got Infinity Coin in the line. Okay, so he's being kind of dumb and taking two damage left. Oh, he grew by 2-2! Two, two. It grew by 2-2. Two, two oh, oh. Oh, look at that con man. Look at that con man. That con man is broken. Broken, I tell you. Th that was... I don't use two zombies. That's two minions. That was turn three. You see why this deck is good? Also, the, the music stopped. I kind of want I kind of want the music. Yeah, it's back. <laughs> that was stupid. I don't know if the music was bad for you, but it did for me. That was stupid. Another good starting hand. I'm keeping it. I think about 90% of the times I play this deck, I always get a good starting hand. It's because every card in it is just like... Every card in this deck is like 80 or above. Well, except maybe, um, what's it called? Trap of Territory and Monkey Pirate. Monkey Pirate is probably the worst pirate I have for this deck because outside it's not really good. I mean, it is very useful. Don't get me wrong, I think Monkey Pirate is like an easy beat. But it's nowhere near as good as some of Oh, shit, I played it. Oh, well. I mean, it don't really matter. Because he's going to do that anyway. Now, our uh, Grave Robber is going to grab... Like, like I was talking about at the start of the video, I said 4-3 in turn 2. 4-3. Now, Flame Face would be stupid here. Oh my god! Don't remove... There's no way you can remove that, right? How could we remove that? Well, he could... Um, no. I don't know how he would remove that. I mean, I guess he can put a free attack minion from it, but the, 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 the strike through. He's kind of in a bad position here. He's lost a lot of tempo. He's only played spike lead sector. He's gonna play that. Oh, he's gonna beat that to the... I don't even help that. Bruh! The great robber doesn't even die. Ooh. Ah, uh, what do I do here? <laughs> we have this. And we do have deadly. Something that can do more damage. Than that, we can. I don't think he is. This guy's out of moves. We are gonna play deadly just to kill this. I can't go. I'm gonna do that. Dude, I'm we win. We win just like that. Boom. What turn was that? I was turn four. Turn freaking four. Turn freaking three and four, we can win with this deck. We didn't even get to use the mix with Grave Digger. 
see, this is just, this deck is broken. I'm playing another game, and okay, I'm playing three. <laughs> I can't stress enough how good this deck is. Jesus Christ, this is good. Right then, so is this starting hand as good as actually? I mean, that works. Ish. I mean, nice, good. A little bit of a to be honest. But still, this is quite good. We have Pogo Mud. That is a really good combo. I think we will probably use Mixed Up Great Figure this turn, depending on how the game goes. If he doesn't answer this, then he's kind of. Okay. Whatever. Maybe not me and Sam. That's the one thing that can make this deck apart. It's just fun. So we are gonna play Flame Face because there's no other play. Because we can set up a pirate zone. I never know with Guardian. Because, you know. I'm gonna go poker here, and the next time I'm gonna play this mixed up grave digger and uh, yeah, so I can bounce them. So if you play like a ban banana sauce so red, like, whoa, I, how did I guess that? <laughs> but you know what's really <laughs> annoying for him? Oh, I thought it was gonna get like rumble then. You know what's annoying for him now? He's probably thinking, well, I could just play the Barnaso Rex. Mixed up Grave Digger. He can't do that! <laughs> also, can I just say, it, it mixes everything up randomly as well. It even mixes them up randomly. It put them in the same place. But he doesn't know that. He probably thinks, like... He probably thinks that Mixed up Grave Digger is in lane 4. He doesn't know where they are. So we could, he doesn't know. If he's got one Grave Buster, he doesn't know where they are, so he doesn't know which one to kill. This is why Mixed Up Grave Digger is amazing as well. Okay, I, I guess he did kind of guess where that Mixed Up Grave Digger was. If he was planning to... He kills our guy. Well, not our flame. Oh, I forgot about Bounce. <laughs> we'll keep this 5-5 five five on, on the field, because it, it can help us. We have another Pogo as well. Good. And one in the amphibian. That, that, was, that was really good. In the right, we'll get rid of your block meter. See, we're not even using the pirate strategy here. We're just playing gravestones. And we're winning. Onion man. <laughs> you have fun with that. <laughs> oh no, it disappeared. And that is five damage. It's definitely five damage because you don't have more than three blocks. <laughs> Another pogo would be really good. Especially now he blocks things. If we can get this Mystic Grave Digger to go pogo, and that Infinity Clone is also setting us up for Line Dancing Zombie, which wins as well. Unless he has like heals. Popping poppies would be quite bad here. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> We'd probably still die, but just not this time. Cactus. Okay, 
reactors. And we win. Guaranteed lethal. Guaranteed freaking lethal. Guaranteed. In a lot, in, in like four levels. Um, and he rolled a run as well. Oh, Before I go, I want to show you a cheaper version of it. Yeah, it looks way different, I know. So this easily isn't as good, but it's still really good. So if you're a budget player and you've got Infinity and picked him from the start here after you picked Smash, then good, 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 good. But, and you're thinking, how can I make a good deck for Infinity? I don't know what to do. Make this deck here, right now on the screen. And then, when you have that deck, you can start to upgrade it and make it look something a little bit like this. And then you've basically made the best deck in the game. So guys, that was the Infinity Pirates deck. I will do a video on the budget one. So uh, <laughs> look out for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.